Hi everyone, I'm K2. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about how I start to prepare my painting and talk a bit more about the color that I use. Let's get started. For a little bit of while that I haven't really talked about the materials anymore. Um, so I'll start with my brushes and these are the two brushes that I always use for all of my paintings. And the small one is made of wolf hair, which is a lot stiffer. And then the big one is a goat hair. So if you have watched my videos over the past years, I've used these two brushes for over a year. And they're in good condition still. You can still see that I keep this in pointed tip. And this one, I just wet it. And um, so you can still see that, you know, after it's wet and then you can actually still keep it in a pointy um, tip which is a very good condition. So before you start painting, you have to ha get yourself ready uh, about 30 minutes before you start painting. You prepare a job water, just like any Western watercolor. I, I'm not very fancy about like, you know, using a particularly container. I just use whatever mason jar that I get hold of and just reuse it. So you wet your brush, and for this large brush, it might take a couple of minutes to soften it up. I basically will just like, you know, leave it like that. And um, don't just try to, to poke it and to get it loose faster because it's going to damage the brush. And for the color, I always just use some very basic color. This is the yellow and the orange. Kind of red, which is a bright red, the blue, and ink. Before you start painting, half an hour ago or so, then you have to wet your paint first and wait a little bit of while. And um, what you found is that uh, it is easier to get the color out for good materials and um, so particularly the blue the blue is likely the uh, the most challenging color I'll start with some brown color I never mix color before I paint I just mix when I paint so that I always get fresh nice gradient I'm painting the back of the female mandarin duck in the world of wild animals, the males are always colorful who needs to dress up to impress the girls. Some of the birds are this, look the same, but some are different. So for this one, the female duck, I just need to paint the entire bird with just a nice shade of brown color. You may also try to just use ink to paint a nice shade of gray color. The male mandarin duck is considered one of the most beautiful birds in the world. The flashy look is made up of an array of colors. The red bill, purple chest, crest of the black, green, blue, and copper, and the golden range wings. However, in Chinese painting, particularly my type of freestyle Chinese painting, we seldom paint any objects with such vibrant color mix we like the subtlety and use of ink and white space to fill the painting with imagination rather than explicit realism. So instead of using the purple color for the chest, I use blue color. But you're free to use any color combination that you want. Now I'm switching to use a large brush to dip some ink to paint the lotus leaf. Lotus is one of the most favorable subjects in Chinese painting. It symbolizes purity, beauty, and enlightenment in Buddhism, and is one of the four floral gentlemen in Chinese culture. Believe it or not, putting up a painting of lotus flowers into a room creates a lovely, peaceful, and artistic atmosphere. For the stem, I'm switching to use a small brush, and then I'm gonna paint a lotus flower bud with uh, an outline and a stem. And on the tip, I'll just add a bit of red. 
And then I'm going to get some ducking to paint these tiny little spikes on the stems. I'm finishing up with some tiny details of the lotus flowers. Thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.